In this video, I want to compare two well-known investing newsletters, Capitalist Exploits Insider Newsletter and Wall Street Zen. So each newsletter has unique characteristics and it takes a different approach to investing in finance. But there are some reasons why I think Capitalist Exploits might be a better choice for both beginner and advanced investors. But first, let's start with the similarities between Capitalist Exploits and Wall Street Zen. So first, they both have intuitive data visuals. So while Wall Street Zen offers automated stock analysis and visuals, Capitalist Exploits provides in-depth sector-based analysis, which might be more beneficial for people that are looking to understand the broader market trends. Now, another interesting thing here is that Wall Street Zen has a free stock screener, as, as they call it. And so this can be useful. It gives you many different filters that you can apply to find different types of stocks that you might want to invest in. But it's more useful for advanced investors who already know like what filters are important and how to actually interpret all this data. Whereas now Capitalist Exploits doesn't offer this free service, but they offer a premium service where they actually share what they invest in in their own large portfolio at their investment firm. So they actually outperform the market consistently quite a bit, and they've been doing it for years. It's not like a short term one time thing. So this is highly valuable because it removes the guesswork. So even a beginner can make the same investment as the pros. Now, while both the Wall Street Zen uh, newsletter and capitalist exploits try to keep their stock pick simple and you know the explanations of them easy to understand capitalist exploits goes way further and they actually provide educational resources as well as live Q&A session with their experts which can be way more valuable for comprehensive learning and so capitalist exploits has way more of a community where you can actually discuss ideas with like-minded people. Now, another thing they both have in common is a clean and user-friendly design. So their interface is pretty easy to understand and browse. Same with the insider here. So you can see, uh, you know, you can just, you know what you need here, all the information's there. And that carries over to the actual newsletter, which I'll show you in just a couple minutes. But here are the areas where I think capital exploits really outshines Wall Street Zen. So the number one thing here is their focus on asymmetric opportunities. So they have an you know, asymmetric gains portfolio and year to date, you can see that it's always you know beating the market global stocks overall by a significant bit. So their newsletter actually emphasizes on identifying opportunities that have significant upside potential and that can lead to substantial returns, but while keeping the risk actually quite low. So it's asymmetric because you know the reward is potentially much higher than the risk. And so if you're comfortable with a little bit more risk, then this focus could be way more rewarding than just picking the traditional typical stock picks that you'd find here on Wall Street Zen. Now, also, there's a lot more exclusivity and depth in the insider newsletter from Capitalist Exploits. So instead of giving you very superficial, like basic information and just like pumping out a bunch of random articles about different stocks, they actually kind of explore the different opportunities globally that are available, things that you can invest in, and they have solid rationale for why you should invest in something. So, you know, it's actually giving you way more guidance. And because the size of the reader base is way smaller, this also means that you have far less competition with your investing if you use the ideas that they share in this newsletter. Just imagine if a million people got the exact same investment advice from Wall Street Zen. Wouldn't it be pretty hard to achieve outsized returns? Whereas on capitalist exploits, they have a much smaller group, so you don't have to worry about like a lot of people doing the exact same thing as you. Overall, I think capitalist exploits is easily one of the best finance and investing services online. And this is backed up by their very high rating on Trustpilot. So out of 439 reviews, they're averaging a 4.9 rating, which is like almost all five stars. And for comparison, I actually couldn't even find a Trustpilot for Wall Street Zen. So you can make of that what you will. But besides the purely technical aspects, I also really like the unfiltered humor and the sense of community that they have on capitalist exploits. It's something I haven't seen in any other finance or investing newsletter because they don't care about being politically correct or you know pleasing their audience and saying what makes people happy and that gives them way more freedom to share better ideas and just help you make more money and of course way funnier memes such as these ones right here this one really made me laugh so if you want to try capitalist exploits they have a 30-day trial to their newsletter for just one dollar and you can use the link in the description to check it out